Tina, welcome to my studio. Come on in. This room is actually not the first studio I've had in this house. After living here a few months, I realized the light is so much better in this room. And so last summer we moved everything down to this room and we started off by installing new cabinets. Now all of my cabinets, I get a lot of questions about these on Instagram. They are Habsta cabinets from Ikea and I love them because they're real wood, they're solid wood, not MDF and they have um, different varieties so that you can mix and match for what you really truly need for your space and I just really love these. I love the quality of them and the functionality of being able to move the shelves around. On all of these cabinets I use a combination of bins. Some I already had, some are clear, some are thrifted. I mostly try to stick with clear though because ADHD people understand if you don't see it you don't use it. So understanding that about my brain helps me to know that if I keep things in clear containers but behind closed doors, it still appears neat and organized, but yet I can see what I have just by opening the door. And being organized is really the key in this space. This cabinet is my favorite because it has all of my Tim Holtz supplies. I love Tim Holtz products. They're my very favorite. I sell a lot of his supplies on my site at ginalukerart.com. And whenever I need a little bit of creative inspiration, this is the cabinet that I go and I dig around into to find beautiful things. I'll pretty much use whatever I can find from coffee cans to random jars, whatever I can find to organize what I need. Welcome to the overflow. <laughs> because on the floor plans for this house, this is supposed to be a bedroom. There was already a good size closet in it and we just added some additional wire shelves to make it easier to store the overflow from both my studio and my creative things as well as from the shop. Um, this is where I store things that I rarely ever use or I rarely need access to, with the exception of my bigger tools, like my paper cutter and that kind of thing. Other than that, then there's the paint wall. I love this paint wall. It makes it really easy for me to be able to grab the paints that I need to work on my next project pretty easily. Besides storage, every good studio needs surfaces, and I have three main surfaces in my office, in my studio, whatever you want to call it. I have my work table as well as a smaller sewing table, and then I also have a desk, which is kind of a multi-purpose area. My big work surface carries the heavy lifting for everything from creating the art that I make to filming tutorials for my Instagram, or it also is where I create a lot of the things that I sell in my shop. My desk, however, it holds a lot of the things that I use, as well as it's a surface where I can work on my computer. And then, of course, the sewing table is where I do it, the sewing of the things. Every creative space needs a little bit of um, decor, and mine is no different. I have thrifted a lot of the things inside of my studio, from teacups to little trinket boxes, which is where I store things. It's kind of like a crow. I love shiny things. I also love these vintage shakers. I love to store glitter in them. And then of course books. I love books. I have them, some that are waiting to be torn apart while others are ones that I will cherish forever. But books are a huge part of my studio space. In addition to that, plants. Man, I love my plants. I use a mixture of some are real. This one is very real and it just keeps growing up and around. I got it when it was a little plant baby and it's all grown up now. But I also use um, a lot of faux greenery like this. This is the greenery that I use whenever I'm filming my, vid my tutorials for Instagram and it just rolls up and rolls down. Whenever I'm finished, I roll it back up. I unroll it to film. I roll it back up 
whenever I'm not filming and it has a home in this little sconce that's all through a thrifted mind. And then, then I use them in places like this typewriter, which is actually a functioning typewriter. I'm not gonna put a real plant in there, but these faux ferns, they look so pretty. There are also things I've gathered from my travels, including these bottles that I like to propagate plants in. And then recently when I was in Bonaire, I found this really cool back scratcher. So I found these um, when we were on a road trip in Connecticut. And it's funny because a lot of them say Hartford stamp works. I found them in a vintage store. So I don't know if that's where they actually came from, but yeah. I also like to collect art whenever I go places, and these prints both came from my travels, one from Hawaii and one from Belize. And if you're an artist, you probably should at least display a little bit of your own art as well as other people's. And my inspiration board is kind of a mixture of all those things all in one place. I think whatever you put in your own creative space, it should be what inspires you the most and the things that you love. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this tour and I'll see you in the next video.